Hi, my name is Renee Bauer. I'm a divorce attorney and host of the Happy Even After podcast. I'm also a business owner, but I really consider myself an entrepreneur and I've been that way since I was a kid when I first had my lemonade stands at the end of the driveway. But I also was terrified of public speaking when I was younger and I had to do it in a school play in middle school and I forgot all of my lines and I was dressed in a ridiculous owl costume with an orange beak and I was so embarrassed because there were so many people I knew in the audience and all I could do was bring my plastic recorder to my mouth and squeak out a few off key notes. But as I grew up, I think there was a part of me that always felt like when I was speaking public, I was that kid again, speaking in front of a crowd of people in a costume with feathers and having an off key message. But here's the thing, and this is what I want to talk about today. Despite my fear, I became a litigator whose job is to speak. But more importantly, my job was to speak up for someone who needed a voice. I remember one of my first times in court, I was representing a woman whose husband uh, allegedly abused her. In fact, he threw a TV across the room at her. And I remember that detail because the husband's lawyer tried to argue that the woman jumped in front of the TV and that her husband was just throwing it out of anger and she put herself in the TV's path. Now my client's husband was a big guy and he was a bully. And you could tell by the way he stood and how he spoke and even how he looked at his wife that he was a bully and that he probably did everything that my client was testifying to. But his lawyer was a bigger bully and he had been around for a long time and he was politically connected and in the middle of the hearing the court took a break and this lawyer came up to me. I was probably 27 years old at the time, unsure of what I was even doing and definitely not confident. And this lawyer cornered me and told me if I didn't drop the case, he would make sure I never practiced another day. Was I scared? Of course. But in that moment, it wasn't about me. It was about speaking up and speaking out for someone who needed my support. So you see, public speaking has always been and still is a fear of mine. Yet every day, Every week, I show up and do it. In court, I show up in these videos. I just show up because something I've learned is that my message means more than me feeling like an owl in a costume at the front of the room. As you navigate the world, jobs, relationships, my message to you is to step up to the mic. Use your voice to speak up and speak out and speak your truth. The more you do this, the more comfortable it will become. There's going to be a time in your life when you'll be asked to do something that doesn't feel good. It might be in a job or maybe in a relationship. And when that happens, put aside your fear of what will happen if you speak out and do it anyway. If it's your truth, you should speak it. It's our obligation to speak up for others who may not be able to, and it's our duty to speak out against injustice. Have you ever had a moment when you regretted not speaking up? Pretend you can redo that moment and now use your voice. What would you say? Would there be a different outcome? Now it's time to use your voice, so step up and speak into the mic.